My name is Isaac Dixon. Everybody call me Ike right now. I used to go by Izzy, but it's Ike right now. Been at Levels for about two months, a little bit more than that. I got through Levels through somebody who worked in Levels, the manager. He, he had picked me on and told me it was a real good shop and it would be a good experience. So I just came through. I'm from Coney Island, Brooklyn. You already know. It's real hard out there. Everybody hungry. Everybody want to get their money up. Quick money, and any way possible. It is. The goons is out there. Uh, really, it, the shop out here got more barbers. Everybody more as one as a team. Feel more family oriented. Uh, the barber shops in Brooklyn really. Everybody's more on their own. They loners. Everybody just did to to make their money and get out the door back to what they do in life. Like, it, it's not really a, uh, you, you could cut at the shop, shops in Brooklyn, but you, you don't really get the experience of communicating with your customers. Like, it just, it's a money thing more in Brooklyn. Now here it's more like, we, we care more about the lifestyle cutting here. I think bef my first year in high school, I cut my hair, and like, I gave myself so many patches and stuff, and like, I had to fix it, and then, after that, I kept on cutting hair. I was really, I was tired of going to the barb shop. Like that's first of all. Then I, I, I started with my hair. Got real good at my hair. Sharp shape ups. Started cutting my friends' hair. Then like I wanted money for that. Like once I started getting good, so like I, I went to Brooklyn to work in the shop out there for for a little while and to to learn the business. It was from my uh, my father's best friend. So he, he put me on to the business to, to see how it worked and everything. So I started liking it. Plus, I, I love to help the community. So I, when, once I came to Levels and knew I could really make a living out of it, then I ain't going nowhere after that. Nah, that, that's all I do right now. I, I play basketball, but really, cutting hair take a lot of time like out of your, out of your life. You, you don't realize it until you do you, you real good at what you do. So it, cutting hair take about most of my time. Rico's a good guy. He, he got the barber swag that most barbers want. He, he's easy going. He, he knows the business very well. So he, he's funny, he, he's serious at the same time. Um, he, he's very good at what he do. Like, if you wanna be a barber, that's somebody you could just follow their steps and to learn the game, to learn the sway, to know how to promote yourself to, for more business. Uh, he, he's a good guy to look up to. The owner, he's a real good guy from what I heard. And I heard some bad things. I'm not gonna say the bad things though. I ain't hear that much bad things, but he, he's a real stern dude. He, he's a good helper. You, you can see him as a father figure. He, he, he want to see you be better than what you are. He, he'll tell you the good things you're doing and the bad things you're doing. And he'll tell you how to be better and which doors to walk through to be as good as you want to be. So he, he's a pretty good guy. He, he's quiet though. He need to talk a little bit more though. Uh, I mostly hang around, uh, the, the shop is a little separated, even though we won as a team. The right side is more of the, the younger guys, and the left side is the older guys. So I'm more to the right side, but I, I still look towards the left side to, to get the, the older advice and stuff. But I hang around the guys on the right side, because they, they the younger crew. I call him Reem Montana. He, he wear all the colors and stuff. You know, we got, we got Jay out. Jay, he, he good with the Beijing's, all that. Uh, all of us got the own skill. Then, then Ish, it, Ish, I'm probably the closest with Ish, cause he sit right next. 